All right, part C, we want to use our answer from part B to find an estimate of the total amount of water in the tank to the nearest liter at the end of eight hours. So um, we know that we start with this much water in the tank. Water is um, pumped into the tank at this rate, pumped out of the tank at, at that rate. So what I can do, the rate of change of water is going to be um, the amount pumped in, W of T, minus the amount pumped out, um, or removed, I guess is the word wording they use, which is R of T. And so that lets me know that the volume of water at time 8 will equal the integral from 0 to 8 of this rate of change, W of T minus R of T, with respect to time, plus whatever the starting volume of water in the tank is, and that's given to us, that's 50,000 liters. I can break up this integral as the integral from 0 to 8 of W of T dt, minus the integral from 0 to 8 of R of T dt, plus that starting value, 50,000. And now, I can recall that we said that um, using the left Riemann sum from part B, this value here was approximately 8,050. I sell this 50,000. And I'm just going to put this along with that into my calculator. So let me flip over to the calculator. I want to do an integral. I want to do the integral of this function, so 2,000 e to the negative, I'll use just x squared over 20. I'm going to evaluate that over the variable x going from 0 to 8. So that's the integral part. And I'm going to have minus the estimate for this integral, which is 8,050, plus the 50,000. And that gives me, at, time, at the end of 8 hours, I should have approximately 49,786 Point one nine five, but I believe um, it says to the nearest liter, if I recall correctly. So forty nine thousand seven hundred eighty six. So forty nine thousand seven hundred eighty six liters. Let me double check to make sure I wrote that down correctly. Ah, uh, yes.